Hi, my name is David from Redgate Software, and today I'm here to talk to you about Flyway, one of our cross database solutions, and how it can help you with your database migrations. So, Flyway is a migrations tool designed around leveraging JDBC driver connections to allow us to perform database migrations to over 20 different database platforms. We can see here we can specify uh, for today's use for example a postgres database that we're hosting in azure and we're using our stack overflow development environment against this version so we also have alongside here our sql scripts folder and this contains a couple of different types of migrations so flyway first off leverages version migrations so these would typically be a schema change um, and this would be something that you wanted to execute either in a numerical order or with some of Flyway's advanced functionality, you have the ability to be able to cherry pick an order at your choice. Additionally, we also have repeatable migrations. So typically programmable objects, and these would be run after any version migrations are executed. And on each migration run, Flyway would also do a checksum comparison against the applied migration and that held locally in the folder. And should there be any update, as the name would suggest, we can rerun these and repeat that migration to update those as well. So let's have a look at the tool itself. As I said, it's a, a command line based tool. So if we point this at our local Flyway folder and we run our first command Flyway info, that's going to effectively run a comparison against our target database here, which is flagged as an empty schema. And it's going to pick up these versioned migrations that are pending, as well as our repeatable um, new view migration here pending as well. The other little change is this undoable section. And what it's found is an undo script for um, the, one of the version migrations, allowing us to roll that back if necessary from the Flyway command. But let's look first at Flyway Migrate. This is going to find all four of those pending migrations, including that undo script, and it's going to apply those three to the database. So if we then rerun our info command, what we can see here is it's still going to display that information, but all of these are now showing successfully migrated. And likewise, if we jump over to Azure Data Studio to our dev environment, what we can see here is that we've got all of these migrated alongside our new view down here as well. But what we've also created by default is this schema history table. And if we take a look here, as soon as you execute Flyway against your target environment, this will be created and this will be used as a complete trace of all of the executed migrations, as we can see here in order, along with a date and time as to when that has occurred. So if we also look back at Flyway, we can then run another command, Flyway clean. This is going to give us the ability to completely um, wipe the objects from the, the target database environment. And if we just take a look back here, we can see that those have then been removed. So from here, we could run another migrate command, which is Flyway dry run. And this is going to connect a read only connection to the database and allow us to see all pending migrations um, that would be executed should we run that migrations run. And we can see that here, giving it a great insight, especially ahead of any sort of production level um, deployments, just seeing a single output source in the order of execution for any of these migrations that are gonna occur. Now, what we've looked at here is very much um, the, the manual use of Flyway via the command line. But ahead of this demo, what we also did was just ran a, an Azure DevOps pipeline calling Flyway's Docker image to be able to leverage this as part of a CI CD workflow. And as we can see, if we jump back over, we've got this Stack Overflow CI database here. And we can see that all of these tables have since also been created here as well, alongside that schema history table, giving us that full visibility of any of these deployments again. I hope this has given you a bit of an idea as to what Flyway can help you achieve. But if you do have any questions or want to explore this further, do reach out to us here at Redgate. Thank you very much.